Hello, welcome to my channel. This video that I made is about how to use the staking tool to close up the hole in the minute hand and the hour hand of a pocket watch. Let's say you bought some hands and the hole's too big to go on your uh, cannon pin. In. So I'm going to show how I use it to close up the hole and make to make it smaller so it'll fit on my um, watch. First thing we want to do is set up our staking set. We take the I take the center punch and make sure my die plate is centered with with the center punch. Center punch is the one with the point on the end of it. And it's probably the most important punch that you have with your uh, stakes, staking set. Without it, you couldn't center up any of your uh, holes. Next, we take our minute hand. And we lay it on the die plate of the staking tool top side down. Then we take our center punch and we use it to center up the hole of the hand with the center of the hole of the die plate. It's very important that it's centered because if it's not centered and you go to close the hand the hole in the hand with the next tool, it'll be on, on offset and the hole won't close right and you won't be able to use that hand anymore for your watch. Now I use a little piece of that blue putty to help hold the hand down. It helps keep it in place and also I've had them when I went to open that or close that hand hole up uh, I've had them fly away and get lost so that's a good idea to put that putty down there to help hold it hold it down for you now there's two two punches that you can use to do this one is a tapered mouth punch and you want to choose a punch that the whole the punch is a little bit bigger than the hole in your hand and then the other punch is a round face punch and you want that punch to be about two times bigger than the hole that's in your watch hand now the the punch that I've chosen to use is the tapered mouth punch it both of the punches work extremely well and I've had success with both punches but we're just going to try it with the tapered mount punch all we do is hit that lightly one or two times there we go now we're going to check our work and see how good we did And looks like we closed that hole up a little bit. That's all we needed was a small amount. And if you've closed it too much, you can always use the broaching tool and open the hole up a little bit more to fit it to your watch. Next, we're going to work on our hour hand we're going to close the hole up on it too. And it's a little bit different than the minute hand because it has a tube on one side of it. We take our hour hand and we place it top side down on the die plate again. Then we take our center punch and center it up like we did the minute hand. 
and it makes sure it's all good and centered. Now the punch I'm using for the hour hand is the same kind that I used for the minute hand. It's the tapered throated punch, but it's a lot larger than the um, one I used for the minute hand. So you have to choose which punch you're going to use. And by the way, I'm closing hands on an 18 size pocket watch, and they're a lot larger than a 16 size pocket watch. Now that we have everything in place, we'll just take a few light taps with the hammer. And it should be sized just like we need it. Now you notice I didn't use that blue putty on the hour hand. Usually I don't I haven't had problems with them flying away, uh, probably because of that tube that sticks up and it holds it down better. So here we go, there we go. Looks like a good job. It's all closed up like we need it and ready to go on our pocket watch. You can see how it's formed it a little bit. Kind of rolled the edge over slightly. So I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a little bit on how to use your staking tool. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel for other uh, videos on pocket watches. Now, here's a book that I use quite a bit. It's very helpful. It shows all the different punches and the stumps that come with your staking tool and gives a good explanation of what each tool is used for and how to use them.